I'm Linda Ann Smith, and I'm working today on Mixed Media Morsels. This was started by Cat Hand. She has a great Facebook page and a Facebook group, and uh, some really neat videos on YouTube. So I'll put those in the description box, and you can link to them. Yesterday, if you watched my videos, I thought that I forgot to turn it off of 3D, and I was getting 3D instead of 2D. Well, if you're watching here, this is probably some of the better video I've gotten, but it's got these little crazy things going on in it every once in a while, and then it'll settle back. Apparently, my camera has decided that it likes 3D best, so it keeps trying to revert to 3D. But here, I've already done some layers. Uh, I painted first a bright gold layer, and then a turquoise layer, and dripped alcohol on it. I'm not really fond of um, videos that are show and tell where they've already made it and they don't show the process, but I'm going to have to tell you a little bit about how I got to this stage today because if I tried to show you that 3D video, it would blind you. So I started with a gold layer and on each layer after it dries, you put a thin layer of paint and then you drop alcohol into it while it's still wet. So I started with gold, I went to a turquoise, then to a yellow, and last kind of to a royal blue color. And that's how I got to this stage. I'm not putting anything on my little book to protect the future pages. I'm just kind of making sure that they stay apart, that I can pull them apart. And uh, it's just a little book that I can replace. It's not anything special. And that's what's fun about this. You can do anything you want to, and you don't have to worry about messing up the book. At this stage, I've added a layer of gold and sprinkled the alcohol on it and let it spread. And uh, my alcohol just happens to be 91%. Happened to see that in the drugstore and picked it up, knowing that I'd probably use it quite often. I didn't get my paint very thin, so I went back over it with some more uh, brush strokes and then drip the alcohol on it, and I dabbed away this time. In the previous uh, layers, I did not dab away. Well, here we go again. I have a psychedelic hand and a psychedelic uh, palette, but uh, you can kind of see what I'm doing here at least, a little bit. I dabbed on some colors, and then I dropped the ink on it from the end of a paintbrush. I decided to do two more pages using uh, Silks Acrylic Glazes from ColorArt.com and these are so shimmery. I hope the camera doesn't mess up too badly here because they're shimmery, they're pretty, and I could not stop myself after that ink made those wonderful little patterns on it. I had to do some, um, make an abstract painting out of this. So I just kept going and playing. And although I destroyed some of the organic look of the alcohol uh, images where they dropped. Isn't that what this is for, for a background for us to start and do more things? So I had fun. That's the main thing. And I decided this little experiment uh, definitely gave me the inspiration to do a large canvas, a larger canvas, uh, and a real painting in the future based on this same technique. I think they would make gorgeous abstracts. I'm going to keep this short today because of the camera problems, but I did fix the camera problems. And uh, I may redo this process. I don't know. It was so much fun. I don't have any problem against redoing it. We'll wait and see how I feel tomorrow about it. But uh, in the meantime, like, subscribe, comment, and share. And thank you for watching.